University of Tennessee has its own agricultural campus. The professors are so helpful and very personable. Dr. Logan actually came to my place of employment. I'll be published as an undergraduate. Explaining the program to me. There's many international opportunities. It's very pretty. It's a lot more settled. I got to go to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and ride kayaks through the mountains and video aquatic fish and coal mapping and did several unique projects. That's something unique that I wouldn't get any other at any other university. I never realized how many skills I was gaining from those projects. I'm Daniel Yoder. I've been in the Biosystems Engineering and Soil Science Department for 19 years. We really have four programs in our department. We have a soil science program, there's an environmental science program, there's a technology program, and finally there's a biosystems engineering program. The biosystems engineering program takes pieces from mechanical engineering, civil engineering, environmental engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering. It's the broadest of the engineering disciplines. It takes all of those pieces and puts them together to try to apply engineering principles to those biological systems. The classes are much more focused on design than most other engineering curricula. We have a very strong emphasis on a design project where the students take something from concept all the way to developing a prototype. We also have a much stronger emphasis on biological courses and, and application of engineering to those biological systems. So those are the three things that kind of make us unique. The breadth of the engineering courses that we take the emphasis on senior design, and then the emphasis on application of engineering to the biological systems. Hi there, I'm Joanne Logan, and I'm in the Department of Biosystems Engineering and Soil Science. I'm an undergraduate advisor in the Environmental and Soil Sciences major, uh, our major has three different concentrations. It has a concentration in what we call agricultural systems technology. And that's a concentration that when you're finished, you are very qualified to come out and work with consulting firms related to agriculture. One of the other concentrations that we have is in environmental sciences. These students have a more general background in environment and also in soil science in our department but they usually come out and they're able to work in consulting companies, environmental education, and then we also have students that come out and work in government jobs such as with the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation or with the Tennessee Valley Authority. Our third track is in soil science. That is a, a career track where you end up as a professional soil scientist. Career options in this field include working for the Natural Resources Conservation Service or perhaps working for your local county as a soil surveyor, or also you could get a job with the state working in the soil science office. Hello, my name is Neil Aish. I'm an associate professor in soil science at the University of Tennessee. I teach courses in soil science and environmental science, but the most important thing I do is I take students to do experiential learning activities. This past May, we, we took students to Guatemala where we worked on gardening, um, fixing a spring, as well as doing some smokeless stoves. This next year we'll take students to Africa where we'll do infield research, we'll look at the geology of the area, and then see how we as humans here in the United States can impact the lives of others around the world. During Hurricane Katrina, I took about 13 trips with students down there to do cleanup. And the, the economic impact of that was in the millions. Um, so the point is, if you come to the University of Tennessee, you're not just going to stay in Knoxville and join our program. We're going to get you out and we're going to show you the world and we're going to do some things that will impact the lives of people around the world. Hi, my name is Blake Vaughn. I'm a sophomore in Biosystems Engineering. I transferred into this program after my freshman year whenever I was looking for something to do before I go to medical school. Um, I love how the pre-professional program concentration of our major allows you to take your prerequisites for any type of medical field while you're still here without wasting your time using your electives up on those. I also like that you get to interact one-on-one -on -one with your advisor and it be one of your teachers like I have with Dr. Yoder here who's very very helpful. Hey guys I'm Becca Messer and I'm a junior in biosystems engineering. 
Um, initially, I decided I was going to do civil engineering with the College of Engineering over on the main campus. But after I toured this beautiful scenery over here on the ag campus, I decided this was the place. I love it because it's small. I know all my professors very well. I've been doing research with some of my professors during the summers. It's just provided a lot of good contact points for just future jobs and I can't wait to see what happens when I get done. Hi, I'm Adam Duncan, a junior in Biosystems Engineering. I heard about this department through a friend and I wasn't really sure which kind of engineering I wanted to do, so I signed up for a tour. I couldn't believe how welcomed I was when I walked in. Everybody greeted me with a smile and called me by my first name. It's just a great mix. I really got to employ my mechanical interests with other environmental interests by coming to Biosystems and I highly suggest that you at least do yourself a favor and check it out. Hi, I'm Eric Drum. As department head, I'd like to thank you for watching the video and encourage you to come by our department, take a tour, meet some of the faculty, and stop by and see me. We hope to see you soon.